So the next step is combinations of three, right? When you do combinations of three, let's try to do a little bit. And then try to, every day, it's a working, it's a long uh, period of uh, every day doing a little bit of being, uh, being aware. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 what? No, it just makes me happy. I love these type of events, by the way. I went to the John Petrucci one. Wow. So you do in the key of E minor, the C medium. <laughs> All right, everybody. Can everybody see the lens here? Great, great, great. Then let's do this. One, two, three, yeah. Two, three, let's go. Same thing. 
just change it here. I'm just creating a riff, for example. Yeah. Metal has we like to create like complicated riffs. <laughs> And I'm back. Those were quite intensive two days, but a lot of fun. Tons of great information, great people, uh, very talented musicians, made some new friends, and overall, pretty, pretty good experience. Kiko showed us lots of great insights, how to practice, how, how to play some techniques, how to improvise, how to approach songwriting, and yeah, it's, it's hard to compress everything into a short video. Ola Englund was there, he also had a pretty cool show. It was great to meet him. And he had a very interesting question for Kiko. Uh, what comes first? Is it a melody or is it the chords? So for Ola, it's usually the melody and then the chords that would support the melody. But Kiko uh, thinks differently and he had a really nice way to put it. Basically he said that uh, if you imagine a movie set and there are some characters, they, ha they are having conversation like a dialogue and that's the melody and the scenery that's, that's behind them, uh, these are the chords. So it's, it's very important to, to have a beautiful uh, chord progression. For, for me, it's also like when I hear the music, I usually hear the melody and then I'm trying to come up with, with chords to that melody. But often it's, it's quite limiting. And yeah, I should definitely try uh, the other approach. Also, there was a lot of good stuff happening in between or after the sessions. Uh, like the beers in the evening. As I mentioned, we had a really good group. Everyone was super nice and everyone had fun. We even got to jam with Kiko on the stage. So there was a backing track. Kiko would improvise to it and there was a queue, almost like a queue of people going on and off the stage, taking the turns with Kiko and playing something and improvise. That was a lot of fun. Uh, on the first day I, I did a rookie mistake because I borrowed a guitar from someone and the volume pot was turned to zero. I just couldn't figure out what's the problem but Kiko was very quick and with a smile on his face he fixed it for me. Uh, so yeah, on the second day I, I learned my lesson, I checked the volume pot and it, it was uh, much better. Uh, you can see yourself how I did. So yeah, to summarize, it was really great experience and I had a lot of fun. That's it for today. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to follow me on my journey. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.